Eduardo, thank you for joining today. <laughs> good, to have you. good to be here, man. Yeah, man. Actually, good. I'm happy you're here. Yeah, it's amazing to be here in <laughs> this beautiful light with the copal and in the jungle. And it's yeah, amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so for those uh, in the audience who are new to your world, can you just give a quick intro of um, who you are and what you do? Of course. Uh, Eduardo Castillo. Um, I am a musician um, who accidentally now has hotels. <laughs> uh, and that's really sort of how it sums up. Uh, my, my background's in music. I, I uh, studied uh, composition studied it was a double major i did a composition vocal performance uh philosophy and religion uh, uh studies and then i went to pursue my career and accidentally built a career also in hospitality just to pay my way through school um and uh and yeah i mean eventually one thing led to another and the two worlds collided music and hospitality and here we are in Tulum at one of the Avitas. Amazing. I don't know if that's, that was... That's great. It, okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. And uh, and talk a little bit about, about Habitas. Yeah, yeah, happily, happily. So Avitas came about through this this uh, hunger for me. I've always, I always wanted to create musical experiences. I felt that... that uh, I felt that in the, in the circles that I was involved, that it lacked, um, inspired by... Peter Gabriel and his tours inspired by Pink Floyd, you know, like these really there was so much attention to a storytelling other than just the music. But like, how do we take it to another level? And that always kind of stuck with me. Um, and so I wanted to create beautiful experiences. Um, and I started doing that in L.A. Yeah. in a big way, it just started really kind of growing in that, in that space of not in a big way in terms of you know, massive festivals and numbers, but but in a big way of like quality versus quantity kind of thing, um, and it, and it went very well. And I met my my dear brother and, and business partner Kafir, who was also sort of on the same path of like you know he had been he had grown tired of Coachella and I had grown tired of Coachella and like we had been you know him and I had been going to Burning Man for many years without knowing each other, but we've been going for many years and we had this thing where we wanted to create this extremely beautiful experience and we really at the end of the day wanted to just share like well how we wanted to live our lives you know mm -hmm. and how these very like peak moments of joy and bliss you know how do we share this with the world moments that we had at burning man and moments you know where where and also building a camp at burning man was really fulfilling and satisfying so one day we said why don't we build our own burning man camp but not at burning man we do it in a beautiful place and different place and, and then we maybe take it around the world and we you know and that sort of became Avitas and it, and, and it became kind of went viral the first after the first event because it was really special uh, fast forward to having an event in Mexico uh, that sells out very quickly and then us realizing that maybe it's not just a week of, a, of, a, of an event but maybe it's two weeks or maybe three weeks maybe four weeks Oh, maybe we need a reception and maybe we need a restaurant and oh, we have a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> that was the beginning of uh, of Habitas and uh and so we we built the hotel as if we were building a camp. Uh you know, I don't know if you can see much but but it's essentially a jungle that we very carefully placed tents in. Mm -hmm. Um and we built a camp um which is now was became the first Habitas hotel. Um, nowadays we have eight uh, operating all over the world uh, with obviously many more to come but the ethos stays the same the essence stays the same um, and it's that ethos is respect for nature um, a place for human connection a place for empathy for nature and to build these experiences that I had always been building before um, but that is the DNA of 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 you know this hotel industry that all of a sudden mm -hmm. we're in you know and we call our home so um the essence is really what makes it special and the people yeah definitely the people yeah. feels it, the way that you attract the right people into a place is really beautiful i've 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not that. It, 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 what we've learned is that as we're expanding, uh, you know, we were worried about finding the right people. Mm. And what we've re- what we've learned is that because we're moving with purpose. It's not just a business. There is, there's, there's a reason why we're doing what we're doing and how we're doing it. It's sort of attracting the law of attraction. It's, it's, it's attracting the people that want purpose. And mm-hmm. so when we're, when we land in a certain country or a certain place, and there's, you know, if you if you look at a list of like, like an employee list, like a, or, or like a recruitment, you know, fair, and there's. Um, this hotel and habitas that actually cares about human connection actually cares about the planet is building and putting their mouth their money where their mouth is as opposed to the other one which potentially could just be a paycheck Mm -hmm. very easily people gravitate because i believe that humans do have innately this sense of good Mm -hmm. Um, i want to believe that um and we're attracting beautiful people just simply because we care about what we do. Um, and it trickles down, obviously. I mean, the founders, we're, we, we care about the people. And there's a lot of love. And um, it's contagious. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. I really feel that in, like, all the interactions I have yeah. here. And with you, of course. And uh, just with all the people that I, you know, that I've met through through this network uh, and the servers and y- the y- housekeepers yeah. I mean they're all I mean, incredible they're just light beams yeah. like it really feels it really feels yeah, lovely yeah. yeah yeah that's amazing and one thing I notice is like you have you, this it feels like it's a true expression of your life you know of of, yeah. of how you live your life is this place and uh, I was wondering, like, how you found, how did you find this this piece of land, or how how do you find these pieces of land? Because I, one thing I notice about you is that you have a really deep, intimate relationship with place. Mm. Like when you perform, you're always performing in a new, you're you're performing in these places, and the performance happens once, and it it is a representation of a moment in time. Yeah, and I feel like that's something that is core to what you do and I, i'm curious like how 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 do you find these places or how do these places find you or call you in yeah it, with hotels it, it, we they have found us mm-hmm. um, again people realizing and taking note to something that's special and you know if you have a big piece of land and you want to and you're an entrepreneur and you want a business and you have a consciousness uh, you will find something, you know, you'll try to find something that, that, that resonates with you and that aligns with you. And that's what happens. That's what happens mostly, mostly with, with our properties is we, we property owners, landowners, uh, or people that know of landowners tell us, you have to meet this person. You have mm. to you know, and sort of these kind of, again, the law of attraction and, 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 and that alignment of, why it is what we do and wh- how we do it and that's how we ended up in Tulum I mean it was somebody came to one of our events and and the owner came to the landowner came to one of our events and he he said you guys need to come see our land um, mm. because it would be a great place for an event mm. because he had been associated he, he, we weren't hotel people mm-hmm. he was we he was like I'd love for you guys to come and enjoy my land and and we did and and then when we said we might stay longer he's like never leave <laughs> don't ever go oh. you know? so yeah that's on the hospital on the, on, the, on the hotel side on the on the on the music side um i do seek out spaces uh, that's mm-hmm. where where i get m- m- a little bit more granular um obviously you know the feasibility of building hotel there's a there's a fe- feasibility study of building a hotel for a concert you can pretty much do a concert anywhere as long as you know as long as there's a road to it, and even so, you might even take a hike to mm-hmm. one of my shows. No, um, so that's really kind of really looking into if it's an urban setting, looking into a unique setting. It could be a church, it could be a subway station, it could be you know something really interesting. Um, if it's outdoors, obviously, the more immersed in nature, the better. Um, but but I think I think what's important there is 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 that 
is is that the space becomes a container for not just the music but also the message and and the call to action mm. so when you're in nature and you're playing you know hopefully beautiful music um there's a there's an emotional connection that's very powerful and and when you're in that context and you look around and i'm able to tell the audience take a look around and take this in right now mm. while i'm like playing this like really lush beautiful pad and chords and you know maybe there's a beautiful singer and like somebody you know like it's like so cinematic that it feels fake <laughs> but it's not <laughs> like pinch yourself because we are actually living this moment and this needs to be preserved mm. and there's then that emotional connection turns into a call to action right away and now that and and this is how we do it and i try to give that out in a silver platter I'm like you don't even have to think about it here is how you can make that happen mm -hmm. just by arriving to a concert you've made it happen because you've opened yourself and you committed to purpose and 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 and, and intention sure yeah tell me a little mm. bit more about the like the impact platform you guys have created through habitas yeah we, we we just launched something that's super exciting which to me i think is the most probably the most important thing that habitas will ever do and it's called habitas rise and habitas rise essentially is this almost one for one kind of model that we've we've been seeing popping up forever um But it's, it's, you know, we, we, as every guest that checks into our hotel for every stay, we donate $10. Then we ask the guests to donate, to, to, to match it uh, at the end of their stay. Once they're inspired by what we've done, the goal is that, you know, they're very inspired and $10 is nothing. They'll say, here's a hundred, you know, to, towards, towards the cause. Um, but, but, th and then we align ourselves with incredible organizations. Here in Mexico, we work with underprivileged children with coral reef restoration, with sustainable um, logging, and, and um, we work with water preservation for Tulum and for Bacalar, for where we are in Mexico. Uh, and that's going to grow and grow and grow because we're actually building a fund that directly is funneled to all these organizations. And with the concerts, is, it's amazing because the concerts... <clears throat> Uh, what we do with the, with the concerts is, you know, we have a hotel. So it could be sold out. We're not really interested in, we're not a, we're, we're not a concert space. Uh, we are a hotel. Uh, the heartbeat of the hotel is that concert space, mm -hmm. but, it, but, the, but it's not the business. Mm -hmm. That's the impact component, like real time. Sure. You know, um, and so obviously we have Abitas Rice, but with every concert, we don't sell tickets tickets are contributions those contributions every single person that comes to a concert has it makes a contribution and that contribution goes directly to our causes so it's like real time happening in the moment that money goes immediately to these organizations mm. um, and there's a really beautiful sense of pride there when you have that conversation during a concert I'll have I'll talk about this and you, it's palpable how people say how people suddenly are inspired by the fact that just by going to this concert to be entertained and be inspired they're also giving back and there's a sense of pride there that's really beautiful and it's sort of this beautiful feedback loop of let's do it again let's do it again let's do it again mm -hmm. it's amazing yeah absolutely yeah i can resonate with that because when you know when you invited me down here we worked together three years ago or so and it was just like absolute yes yeah like, yeah it's just It's such a beautiful space, and it attracts just beautiful people. Yeah, and it feels great. Like when the f that's the first thing I said when I got here. It's just like, oh, this feels really nice. Yeah, you know. And then just the candles and just feeling, just seeing the space, the way it's taken care of. And I, I've even heard you talk about, you know, part of your shows. You know the the ambiance, of course, is, is is really important. But you even talked about like, you know, there it's like it's like I want to have a say in in like how the candles are lit, right? Yeah. There's this deep intention. Yeah. Uh, through every aspect of the performances. Yeah. And so that intention, for me, it it feels like it creates 
the space. It creates the container for then this wildness or this freedom yeah. to kind of flow. And that resonates a lot with me as a musician who makes music with plants because my whole thing is creating these containers for this, you know, the plants to kind of just flow and um, have that expressed as something that's harmonious. Mm. And like, I see you doing that uh, on so many different levels or like, and there's a resonance between not only you and everyone on your, on the team here, um, mm. where, where that's, that's happening in a really beautiful way. Yeah. I, I mean, I use the word contagious a lot because it, 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 fe- it you know, it, everyone's, everyone thrive. I always, I also always say that, you know, if we take care of each other, we all thrive. That's, that's just how it is. If we watch out for each other, if we're mindful of, of, of everyone else, then we thrive the n- never is that more important than in that setting where the stage is set the container is set and then anything can happen right and then you feed off the en- the audience the audience feeds off you and it's that's why i set the, the stage in the center is so that we can we have sort of this like cocoon or more like almost the womb of you know of, of this experience and it's impossible for it not to be contagious. You can see across the stage. Typically, you're on, you're at a concert, and you're and you're looking at a stage. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'm sort of, you know, not interested in that anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm for me personally for a performance. There's a lot of artists that prefer that, but, but I I I don't just want to face, and I don't necessarily want to have this like tunnel vision where I'm not paying, where I'm not seeing what's around me. One of the things that that I'm always struck by is when I'm at a concert. That's, a, that's that's beautiful and really inspiring and we are looking at a stage mm. a lot of times when there's a, when it's a very emotional and powerful moment I'd usually turn around and look at people mm. and look at the audience and what makes it more emo- most emotional for me with to almost to tears most a lot of times actually tears is how people are reacting and mm-hmm. how people are are touched and you see people putting their hands mm. to their face and like or their heart or or just like closing their eyes and that connection to them is more powerful to me than the con- than than the actual artist that's on stage. Not that obviously it's because of that artist, but it's really how I'm affected by everyone else that really kind of is contagious, you know. And and so that's why the stage is in the middle, and that's why everyone's in a 360 degree setting because, you know, if the stage is in the center, I'm here, you're there. There's no way I'm not going to see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And if you are moved and you are suddenly dancing or meditating or even laying down and looking at the stars, I'm going to wonder why you're doing that. Mm-hmm. And I was, I'm going to figure it out right away because of the setting. And I'm going to want to go there as well. Mm-hmm. So you, I've seen people totally possessed mm-hmm. at these shows because they feel safe and because they feel that there's very powerful intention and so i want to be part of it you know it's, yeah. it's incredible <clears throat> absolutely i was i was actually just sharing uh some of the photos from our our last concert together uh with paula mm. uh, your amazing production manager and She's she awesome. yeah and and i was looking at them and just seeing all of those all of those reactions just seeing people deep in meditation yeah. seeing people just in ecstatic dance like all in the same all in the same concert and without any specific prompts like no. now we're going to do this right right it's just it just happens yeah. and it's an emergence and it's generative and it's creative exactly yeah it's it's it, it's it's you it's we're living creativity right in the in that moment mm-hmm. and, you know where either before the show there was calm and peace then all of a sudden there's like 300 creative beings owning their creativity mm-hmm sometimes without even realizing it and it's all from that point of the consciousness from which you're creating or that everyone is creating and the thing that uh is it true that did you study opera is that i did okay cool yeah all right yeah so um i was wondering because whenever we're, we're talking about oh how you know how the run of show will go like you always have this really beautiful uh touch for spectacle but not spectacle like in a grand Mm -hmm. way but spectacle in a very powerful 
way where it just feels super meaningful. Yeah. Uh, and I'm wondering where that came from. Did that come from, I mean, obviously you're a heart centered human and I'm wondering like, I don't know what, what did, did studying opera bring this out in you or what was your like childhood relationship with music and, yeah. and performance? I think I think the the I think authenticity I think would be where you can have very little and have it feel spectacular. Sure. When it's like radically honest and radically authentic. And you know, I I do love, you know, lighting and 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 the and the the power of fire and candles and all these things not not in in the way that like it's very spectacular but like not an extravaganza it's it's uh it's subtle and you know i i love elegance as well you mm-hmm. know and i love subtlety and elegance and 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 when you combine less is more kind of with authenticity um it's that it's it has that spectacle power you know mm-hmm. it's like it's like but at the end of the day <clears throat> the spectacle also comes from the creative influx of the audience yeah. you know when all of a sudden i can bring in a baseline and have the layers start to just kind of bubble and bubble and bubble and the pot is steaming and steaming and then it bursts and everyone bursts into you know excitement and 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 and, the, and a reaction to that that's the spectacle like, sure. and i all i did was take it there with emotion but but it but it it wasn't something that you know i i hired a crew to to build the stage and to it, it's really about we go back to what we said before it's about the people mm-hmm. and it's about how present people are the more present they are, the more profound that spectacle that we're, we're you know, we're kind of redefining the word, that, that word, no? But, mm-hmm. but that's where it's more spectacular. Yeah. And it's really, it's really in that, in that exchange of energy with people. It's, that's, that, that, that I think, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, that's where the, the, the magic is. I love that. Yeah. If, when I hear elegance with honesty, it, it in a way makes me think of things as simple as the copal smoke yeah it, during a certain time of eve or late in the day with yeah. a little bit of sunlight filtering through the leaves right it's the that is that moment and that is everything that moment is and honesty is really just being present with all that is happening in the yeah. moment, right? And it's also nature. Mm-hmm. You know, these things happen in nature. There's sure. no, there's no better spectacle. Mm-hmm. I mean, the hero we're standing right now. If you just look around, the lighting is beautiful coming through the trees. There is nothing more ins- incredible than than this this space. Totally. Uh, and you know, going back to that that idea of spectacle, there like it's nature. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's this word, do you know, uh, stochastic? It's no. like it basically, it's like when, uh, it's kind of like that phenomenon of light filtering through the leaves and the trees. It's mm-hmm. this kind of randomness that uh, that happens. People theorize that that's when when the Buddha reached enlightenment, uh-huh. you, know, he, you know, under the under the Bodhi tree, that really what was happening, part of what was happening was that the, the sun <laughs> right. was kind of like, you know, that can get it was put physics, you in this trance, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's always a materialist answer to the spiritual, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's like it. A, that's like a 10 hour conversation. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued yeah, on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, I, I just love the way that you create the spaces for those, uh, those kinds of things to happen and, and Thank people. You, and, um, I can say that, uh, you know, Habitas has actually like radically, uh, influenced my life or changed my life in a lot of ways, uh, by you guys opening up that, that space that in Venice back yeah. in the day. Right. Yeah. And, um, and you know you created a space for you know artists and people to connect and uh, 
a, most of my best friends in the world actually I met in that in that that's little incredible. house that's incredible yeah and then same what you're doing here bringing people in like I'm meeting meeting other musicians that are here and then I found out we're both friends with Christopher Willits who <laughs> is just like brother from another yeah uh so it's yeah it's just really really cool um, that's awesome yeah, so I feel that impact not only like on the in environmental uh, landscape, but also in terms of uh, supporting artists and, and creatives. That's so. incredible, man. That's uh, it makes me very happy. And 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 also, I mean, what better way for for uh, for us to evolve and progress than than with like mindedness? You know, I mean, like then all kind of working towards the same goal. It's incredible. That's why I love Plant Wave, and that's why. I l it's just, it's just like anything that connects you to nature in that way where it isn't esoteric or isn't it's just it's just a moment it's mm. just a, 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 a an exchange you know it's so simple yeah special beautiful <clears throat> well i know we have a uh we have a uh, sound check yeah. to do soon so i don't i don't want to take up too much more time um, even though we could talk for forever, Happily. we'll do a part two yeah. at some point at another property. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about, yeah, your experience because we worked together a few years ago and it was, it was in a different format, right? It was sure. like with a whole band. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, just tell me a little bit about, about that, what you remember from that experience or what you remember, uh, having experienced plant music, uh, yeah. with plant wave in our previous iterations of it it was awesome i mean it, when, when first when i f when i when i ran into you and i and i and you showed me the device um you know the f i think i immediately said We're, we got to do this into zoom i think like yeah. literally like within <laughs> seconds totally. um and uh, and the experience was amazing i mean the, the idea of generating m you know musical atmospheres from devices connected to plants collecting you know they're i mean it's incredible I, I was so excited to make that happen and that time was really nuts and 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 we had a lot of i mean we had we had about we i think we had eight musicians on stage um uh dave harrington was on stage with his with his distortions and we had violin we had singers we had drummers it was wild Yet the the devices and plant wave were sort of like the foundation and kind of what we held everything together, um, because also that's how my music is. It, there's a, there's I work with a lot of drones and I work with a lot of a lot of pads that that start taking different shapes, but but it's there, and so having that be um, it, a life force on its own was really exciting for this show is 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 even more exciting because now i you know that was sort of i was kind of conducting an, a, a, an orchestra a little orchestra this time just you and i and i really want to listen to the plants mm -hmm. you know uh and we have an opportunity to do that i'm, I'm super excited about it yeah i like that there's it sounds like there's an opportunity for more vulnerability too for sure. like with the audience yeah. in terms of just being open about what we're what we're doing as we're performing yeah and, and just kind of sharing in that moment totally totally it, it's almost like we i feel like tonight's going to be a bit of a hybrid of, a, of like a le like a talk and music and presentation and meditation and um just I, you know, i'm excited to have it much, be much more about um listening yeah really yeah and 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 then like you know when you listen to it and you it's al it's almost like all of a sudden they come they are alive obviously mm -hmm. the trees are alive but but it, we all of a sudden go into like um, the human realm you know like I'm performing with a living organism and but m might that plant or that tree also like utter some notes by singing mm -hmm. or you know like all of a sudden there's like a personality personality there. And it's all being generated by 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 the devices. I mean, uh, it's awesome. You're inspiring me to give the plant more control over things tonight. I'm yeah. actually going to uh, offload some of my workflow uh, to the plants. I was just going to have them playing all the notes, and I would switch instruments and uh -huh. things and arpeggiation. Uh -huh. Might give them a couple more knobs. 
<laughs> so I could just hang out. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, so we can just hang out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, yeah, we're just like going to sit there in, in, in awe of, of everything. I'm excited. Man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for uh, being on Nature of Now. Yeah, man. It's and, a pleasure. Yeah, man. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience? Uh, just to... Um, I feel, you know, the more I stay true to my purpose um, and pursuing that happiness that, that it brings, the more things start to unravel in front of me that are only there to validate that that's what you should be doing. It's beautiful. And, and, mm -hmm. and you know, if I could, if I could uh, share any wisdom, that would be the main the main was the main piece of wisdom is is to is to stay true and and you know is to that path um for the good of all really yeah a hundred percent yeah the synchronicities will emerge it's to, incredible yeah I, it yeah. is absolutely incredible and this is you've created many a vortex on earth for those <laughs> to happen <laughs> <laughs> thank you man thank yeah. you thank you yeah. for 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 that and for the acknowledgement and thank you for having me and i'm super happy that you're here with us yeah yeah thanks so much brother yeah man. <laughs> all right let's play let's do it <laughs> <laughs>